Hi, Dagger here. I'm going to be doing a roster review for Thunderwhack. I'll be looking at it the same way I look at recruits for my guild. Kind of go through his roster and give my thoughts. Hopefully this isn't too embarrassing or harsh. I'm sure his roster is fine. We've seen it enough on his YouTube videos. But let's kind of go through it. So. All right. 48 gear 12s, 26 gear 11s. It's an awful lot of gear 8s. You want, want to try and chunk those up to gear 9s or 10s. 22, 22. Maybe he changed his payout. Looks kind of all over the place. Probably busy. Fleet looks good. All right, we're gonna go into characters. Just kind of scrolling through. I don't see any bad characters up here. Yeah, there's Fulcrum, I guess. All right, we'll start by looking at his resistance. Because one of the first things I do is I look for teams for Heroic Sith and if they're going to be able to contribute in raids. Good JTR team, looks like. Hmm. How fast is BB-8? Two seventy five is pretty good. Zeta, I'm assuming that's the leadership. He Zeta C three PO's unique that goes with R two D two. That means he's probably using them together. Then Zeta Finn Poe, what's the speed on this Poe? This is going to be interesting. Do do. Oh, two forty seven. Plus 105 is not bad. I don't think mine is much higher than that. Maybe 260, 265, somewhere in there. 247 is probably good enough to take out most B squads and a fair amount of A level squads. Yeah, everything else looks good. He might have to gear up his Haldo and his resistance pile a little bit to go with his Finn and his Poe after the nerf. Assuming they don't refund us. If they refund us, then it's kind of moot. But it looks like you're going to need a five-man team going forward. Second one I usually look at is... Where is it? Night Sisters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should probably... Gear, I'd probably tell him to start by gearing up his DACA. And is the Zeta on Unique or the lead here on Ventress? Rampage, okay. That means he's not probably using them in P4 right now. Zombie is gear 10. You need her at gear 10 for uh, her... I forget what the ability is called, but her auto res. Talia, gear 9. Eh. It's not looking great here. Definitely needs work on old Daka. I'll make a note of that for towards the end. Uh, so he has C-3PO, which means his Ewoks are good. Yeah, Ewoks are good. He needs to work on Logre for Territory Wars and uh, Grand Arena. But, I mean, you can sub in one of the other, either Tebow or Ewok Scout in my time being. It's not a super high priority, seeing as you have the Zeta on Sherpa. Maybe look into Zeta and Wicket. He adds to their survivability. Uh, Alright. Bounty Hunters. I saw he had Chewbacca, so his Bounty Hunters are probably fine. That Aura Sing makes me a little sad. Uh, we'll get to his nest in a little bit, but hopefully that's good enough to help him in P3. Because that's really the only reason to put double Zeta on Aura Sing. Django's a little lackluster at a double Zeta, too. Embo, that's a good one. He's really good. Kind of plug and play in a scoundrel lineup. Maybe gear up his Dengar a bit. Oh, Cad Bane is so good. I think Cad Bane's the third best bounty hunter. 
people might disagree, but I think it goes uh, Bosk, Boba, Cad. Yeah, not awful. Greedo looks good. Clones. They're not super important. Yeah. Alright. Now we want to look at First Order because you want those on defense in Territory Wars and Grand Arena. Alright, well it looks like he got Fox to 7 stars. Now he needs to get him up to gear 11. Kylo Ren and First Order Stormtrooper need some work. TIE Pilot's not awful. You really just need to... What's your speed on your First Order Officer? You really need this guy fast. Like, plus 120. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You probably need to remod this. You want to get him up to... 250. I'd say at least 250. You want him going first every time. Yeah. First Order needs a bit of work on the bottom end to kind of round out the squad. Next one I kind of look at is Troopers for Territory Battles. Oh yeah, his Troopers are good. His Range Trooper kind of sucks. But I I assume that's on his list of things to do eventually. Probably Gear 12 Snow Trooper too. Snow Trooper is kind of the DPS on that team. Short Trooper Gear 12 is really good. He got the Zeta. Now we're going to go down to Rogue One. Ooh. So he's probably not passing phase six. And his pal kind of is garbage for P P3. So his checks team probably isn't great. He might be using like Anakin there then. Yeah, K K2, Jin, and Cassian need some work. Plus his ship is bonkers with the Falcon. I saw he had the Falcon. All right. Next one we're going to go look at is Smugglers. It's kind of a condensed version of uh, Scoundrels because you get to look at the Kira team. Looks like Kira's gear 9. Yeah, Vandor probably should be on his list. He's 3.7, 3.8 million. Should probably be looking to build that uh, stallout team. Gear 12 Nest. What's the speed? Curious if he modded her for tenacity or for huh, nothing? Oh, okay. Why didn't she have protection mods? Her protection up is based off of max health. You should probably do a how to mod video on this. I don't know how to feel about this. Alright. I won't dog him too hard. You can't have every character modded perfectly. Uh, yeah, Chewie and Solo, both great. Do they have gear 12 plus on them? He has one piece. No pieces? Yeah, you need, you need to go ahead and put this uh, multi-tool on him. Getting the extra health steal is great, along with his Zeta. That gives him more survivability. Especially when he's assisting all the time. All right, so Empire's probably good. Yeah. EP, Thrawn, Tarkin. Random tanks. Maybe work on Royal Guard or Stormtrooper for, like, a C-level team. Thrawn. What's Thrawn's speed? All right. This, this wants to be a protection. That Health Circle wants to be a protection mod, and that Triangle probably wants to be a protection mod. 270. Man, I'll get to the Jedi, and we'll see how fast his Revan is. The 270 is a bit slow. And again, you want you want protection. Lots of protection on him for his turn meter swap. Adds to the survivability of the team. Other than that, it's not bad. Empire's solid. May possibly gear up another tank or two, just for B-level squads. Royal Guard's kind of plug-and-play-ish. Also has a ship. Along with EP. Yeah. 
Uh, what's next? Galactic Republic is too broad. Jedi. We'll look at his Revan. So he can climb to 1, which means his Revan's probably at least 280. Full gear 12 plus. Good. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, well, we'll look at the number. It looks like over 300. Nope. 293. Okay. That's that's very good. I mean, I think the number you're shooting for is 305. You know, to have, like, one of the fastest Revens. I think anything over about 290 is really good. But plus 133 with a, with a speed set? Or with an offense set? That's actually really good. I would look into maybe putting a speed set on him. You might be able to milk some more speed out of him. Because in the Revan mirrors, the only stat that really matters is Revan speed. Like, Yoda offense matters too, but getting your Revan to go first is the most important part of the mirror. And then often, then so, uh, Herm Grandmaster Yoda's special offense is the second high, second most necessary stat. Yeah. His Revan's good, though. Revan's good. Good, good primaries. I mean, the crit damage can be an offense or a crit chance. He feeds crit damage to the team. All right, let's uh, look at his Yoda, since he uses them in uh, Arena. Full gear 12 plus, good. Good offense set. Hmm. It doesn't look like he has a lot of offense. So there's a couple offense secondaries. A couple flat offense secondaries. They're not super high. We'll see how fast it is. He might be able to drop some speed off for uh, for uh, some more offense. It's not super important how fast he is. Wow, his Yoda's... Yeah. Wow, special offense under 6K. Yeah, you need to pump those numbers up. Speed's good, don't get me wrong. But... His basic gives feeds him turn meter, and he can just gets called to assist by two, at least two members of your team, depending on who you're using. Yeah, I in, in a little bit I'll look at his mods and see if he can't tack some more offense onto Yoda, because you really only need Yoda around two sixty speed, I think. So you have about, he has about twenty eight speed to play with there. Jolie. Oh, man. You need the armor plating on here, buddy. You need it. You need that survivability. All right. Speed arrow. Good. All health sets. Health primaries. Or health. You need, yeah, you want health primary in the circle. I think. And I think you also want a health primary in the triangle. The higher his health pool is, the higher he heals. Zeta, what's his speed? Excellent speed. 131, that's really good. Uh, nine, Almost 90k on the health protection pool. I think you're looking for close to 50,000 health if you can hit it. Not sure how possible that is with the mods he has currently. All right. Let's look at, well, Bachelor really only needs health pool and speed. Uh, speed, 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 good, good. 104, that's good. Might want to speed her up a bit. Probably want her closer to 250. Protection pool is good. Yeah, has some potency. Not awful. GK. You want your health and protection pull to be about 120? Protection arrow, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, geez, almost 150k. <laughs> yeah. His GK's not dying. Nine speed, that's good. I usually like to put a little more speed on my GK, but, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, I'm super jealous of this GK right here. 
Alright. Those are the only real Jedi that matter. The ones he's using in Arena. Now, down to Old Republic. Let's see where he is. T3 gear 12, that's good. He got bad still up to gear 11 and done. Yeah, Karth and Jahani, he looks like he's hammering those pretty hard. Mission and Zalbar are decent tunes, too, to go along with uh, Karth. So, those are two to look into farming as you go forward. Now, we'll just look at Sith. I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, Double Zeta, Treya. Uh, I assume he's going... He, yeah, he has everything but the two pieces to push into gear 12. So it's a bit awkward, because I'm not 100% sure how to mod Treya now, because they removed the AI auto-marking her. So, I mean, I think you still want some tenacity and protection. But I'm going to have to like actually put some work into figuring out how to mod her now that they removed that bug. Or, I shouldn't say bug, that feature. I mean, we we're calling it a feature. Uh, speed, 86, that's respectable. She's more of a support character. I mean, more speed is obviously better, but he's not using her in Arena, so her speed isn't super important. Scion and Nihilist, do they have Gear 12 Plus on them? No, but they're Gear 12. He has Gear 12 Plus. Good, good. Scion's probably the most important character in the Sith teams. Like, he's another one of those characters kind of like Nest where you can just kind of solo entire teams. Sith Trooper's up to Gear 12. That's solid. I'm using this face cam because Thunderwack wanted, I don't know, maybe to see my reactions or something. I don't know, maybe he just thinks I'm cute. Uh, what didn't we look at? Phoenix is probably is kind of irrelevant. It's kind of a back row team, or a garbage offense team. But we can check it out. Yeah, all gear eleven. Only Zeta on Ezra. Kanan Zeta is a decent Zeta, especially if you plan on using this team a lot in GA and TW. The cleanse is super super good. All right, I think that covers most of his important characters. I think the only thing we didn't touch on is Rebels, but outside of the the Rebel Triumvirate, they're not super relevant. We'll check them just because. Yeah, because we already saw R2, Akbar, because he uses him, uses him in Fleet. Yeah. Maybe maybe put a couple more pieces of gear on Stormtrooper Han as well. He's a really good plug-and-play tank for a lot of the Rebels. He feeds them turn meter. And we'll go look at ships. Yeah, Vader... Phantom. Me. Yeah. He has most of the good ships leveled up, it looks like. Yeah. His Cassian's Ewing should be a... Like I said, as far as ships go, should probably be a priority. He has unlocked the Ebon Hawk. That's good. I think we're going to be doing... I think he's going to be doing a video on that soon. Depends on when this comes out. <laughs> he might have already done it by the time this comes out. Yeah, that, every time I see his poet, it makes me sad. All right. Now we're going to go look at his mods. This is the part that really, really is kind of the make or break part of the game, especially when you're trying to compete at the highest level. So we're going to go ahead and look at speed. And we're going to start with just a... We're going to look and see how many 20 pluses he has. All right, so he's a good number of 20-plus speed secondaries. Oh, man. <laughs> he has some really good mods on his Akbar. Not that that's a bad thing. You, you, you want six-dot mods for Arena, but... Man. <laughs> speed square with 20 speed? Yeah. All right. So, we're actually going to go... And we're going to filter it by speed set. We're going to look for speed set with speed primaries. And we're going to see how fast he can possibly get his Revan. Because it could just be he hasn't done this, or it might just be kind of possibly laziness. Oh. His speed mods might not have that great of speed secondaries looking at this. So, 
His best speed secondaries. Okay, so he has a 14 on a circle, 16 on a tr on a diamond, 20 and a 19, so that's 49, 65, plus the circle is 79. So plus 32 on a speed set, 101. All right, what was his fastest mod again? 101. What's his fastest triangle? 19, so 101. That's 120. So that's plus 14 is 134. What's his Revan currently at? I think it, I think, I think, I think, I think he'd slow it down if you put a speed set on it. <laughs> oh... Isn't that embarrassing? He, I, mean, he, I think actually, I think he gets one speed. He get one speed. Yeah. So the offense that's probably better because the damage output is probably worth the extra speed if you can't get your revenue up to three hundred or three ten. All right. Now let's go back to mods. And let's filter offense mods with offense secondaries, flat offense. Um, no, we'll filter it by speed too, just to make sure that we find some decent ones for uh, Yoda. Oh. Okay, so like. It looks like he doesn't have a ton of great flat offenses on offense. So, this is probably something I'd have to do more in depth as opposed to this video. So, I'm, I might actually do that at some point and, like, remod his arena team or figure out how to maximize his arena team. That might be interesting in my downtime if I can find any. But, after going over it, we'll kind of just go back to the hub here. He wants to work on uh, Dengar, Rogue One, uh, Daka, and Range Trooper. That's at least what I would tell him. He has a good roster, though. Except for uh, Aura Singh makes me sad. And his nest. And his throne. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully you all enjoy this.